Hello, everyone, all 40 of you. How are you doing? I'm Chloe from Beacon Coco, and this is a video all about the plastic symbols that you see on the bottom of your plastic that tell you if it's safe or not to use. But much like me, a couple of days ago, you probably don't know what those plastic symbols mean. That's why you clicked on the video. It's in the thumbnail. So I originally filmed this video as part of a park clean that I did recently. You can still see that video in the link below. But I figured this was actually a pretty important topic on its own, so I wanted it to have its own video and have all the great information in a really quick and easy way for you to see. But there was no nice little intro for that video so I'm doing it for you now and Chloe from the past is going to take you through all the ins and outs of what the plastic symbols mean. So I hope you enjoy this and let's just get straight in. So these symbols go from one to seven. You'll always see it inside the little recycle me triangle thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And these definitely don't go from savers to worse. They simply just mean the type of plastic used. And seven, the last category, is actually just mixed plastics, which means it's probably one of the worst categories of plastics. This is found in things like iPod cases, computer cases, sunglasses, a lot of custom products, and therefore it's normally recycled into other custom products, but it also means that it's one of the harder ones to recycle. This includes a plastic called polycarbonate, which is probably more commonly known as BPA. This is probably one of the most well-known types of plastic for being toxic. So if you have a water bottle or a food container that has this, then I would definitely say eat out of something else. I found an awesome website that spells it out really simply called nationalsociety.com. I'm looking at the page now to make sure I get all my facts straight and it's so simple, it's so easy and they've got awesome stuff on the website so check it out. So according to this website the plastics that you should avoid using is three, six, seven and also plastic number one. Plastic number one is considered safe, it's widely recycled but it's been known to allow bacteria to easily accumulate which means if this is used in a water bottle or something left out in the sun it could get toxic to you. You are most likely consuming harmful bacteria and you can stop that right now. This is polyethanol terephthalate. Mm -hmm. It's found in soda bottles, water bottles, mouthwash bottles. So I would definitely not continue to reuse this once the original product's gone. Recycle this, it'll be used again somewhere else, but it could accumulate in bacteria which will not be good for you, so stop reusing this one. Plastic number three is PVC or vinyl, and this is not one that's very widely recycled. According to this website, PVC may still and does still contain phthalates, which is considered toxic. It is apparently linked to health problems that include miscarriages and developmental problems. It also contains DEHA, which can be carcinogenic when exposed for a long time. It's found in food packaging, it's found in shampoo bottles, cooking oil bottles, medical equipment, and even windows. <laughs> but it can be recycled into paneling, it can be recycled into roadway gutters, it can be recycled into speed bumps. The life goes on, it can still be recycled, but you need to find out a specific place where you can do it. The last most risky plastic is number six, and this is probably my least favorite of all the least favorite plastics that exist, and this is styrofoam. Styrofoam is that stuff that all of your stuff from Amazon arrives in, anything overseas, just that big, thick, white stuff. I collected so much of it today. For one, I hate how it feels, and two, it is so terribly bad for recycling. Again, according to Natural Society, this also poses health risks, which makes me so much more angry that I collected so much of it today, and this is one of the things that gets small really fast, which means it's incredibly hard to collect all of it, and more and more likely to go into the ocean where it will just be forever. Although this can be recycled, and apparently it's most likely to be recycled into egg cartons, more foam packing and installation, which, you know, that's great. It's also not accepted by very many recycling companies. On top of this, it can also leach potentially toxic chemicals, and this speeds up so much when it's heated. So if it's just left in the outside world, <sighs> It just gets worse, doesn't it? But on to the better plastics. And these are two, four, and five. Number two is HDPE, and this stands for high density polyethylene. Yes, I had to look at that word a long time before I could say it. It's widely recycled, it's often opaque, and it has a very, very low chance of leaching. It's used in a lot of juice bottles, cleaning bottles, shampoo bottles, and it can be recycled into pens, recycling containers, which I think is really fun, <laughs> detergent bottles, and a whole host of other things. Plastic number four is low density polyethylene. This is a plastic that you might find in your clothes. It's often in shopping bags, and it's often in squeezy bottles. So this is low density, it's one that isn't too thick and you can squeeze it, like I said. Although this plastic is recyclable and it's considered to be safe, it's not one that's often taken by recycling companies. If you check the back of your plastic and see number four, you can check with whatever recycling company comes to you if it can be recycled and what to do if it doesn't. Lastly, plastic number five is polypropylene. Polypropylene. 
polypropylene. Polypropylene. Lastly, plastic number five is polypropylene. This again is one of the safest plastics and it's becoming more and more widely recyclable. When I say this, all these plastics are recyclable, it's just that local companies don't always recycle them. So that's all that means, you can recycle all of these, you just need to find the correct place to do it in. Polypropylene is used in a lot of food containers, so yogurts, ketchup, things like that, and it's also used in medical bottles. Natural Society says it can be recycled into brooms, auto battery cases, bins, pallets, signal lights, ice scrapers, and bicycle racks. Okay, it's me again. Yep, it just ends there. Didn't do a natural either, so I'm back. I hope that Chloe from the past has helped you and you know a little bit more about the plastic symbols now. There is a link to my blog and to Natural Society below in case you want to do any more research yourself. If you like this video and want to see more content like it, then please go ahead and hit the like button. If you want me to love you forever, then hit the subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed this, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs> Brrrr.